Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, I had to run back to the camp because I was overburdened as all hell, and also Athras apparently has a need of me. You have returned. Is there... Oh, yeah. Any chance you have news of Denila? Yeah. You have news? Have you found her? Are you certain? Yeah. She's dead. Dead? What happened to her? Was it as I thought? She died from the curse. Zathrian told you the truth. The Keeper told me the truth? Mm -hmm. Are you certain? Absolutely. And she sends you her love as well. I see. At least she is at peace. Mm -hmm. Here is the amulet, as I promised. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiral, fare you well. Morgan disapproves, but Leliana approves. Morgan's gonna disapprove of everything I do. So, fuck it at this point. Uh, also, an amulet. What did we get? Athros's pendant. Uh, that spell resistance. That's something, at least. Is it... Good... For me to... Run this? Yeah, no. No, okay. No one that needs it yet. But, uh, I'll keep it in the back pocket. Mithra. Whoa. I am pleased that you brought Dagon back to us safe. We need every hunter we can find now. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. I forget where I'm How going. How many other forms can the Swamp Witch become? Several. Can it become a golem? Seeking companionship, are you? If it could become a golem... I simply wonder why it would not stay that way. It is a superior form. No, I cannot become a golem. I can learn to become animals, and each form must be learned anew. And how does it learn a form? Does it read about it somewhere? <laughs> it is not a talent one can read from books. You must copy a creature's soul. I do not understand. Nor should you. Rock is unchanging. Allow it to stay that way. Alrighty. Didn't mean to go to the world map, but, uh... We should probably go this way. I think it's the other way I was supposed to go to, uh... Head back to the forest. And thus, deal with all of that. All I was doing was just trying to get rid of excess inventory problems. Um, okay. They seemed more important than they actually were. Okay. Away I go. Yes. Alright. And we go back into the forest. And we deal with all of that Wonderful shenanigans anew. <sighs> well, here's hoping that near the end of the whole thing, I still can do a non-violent solution. Which is kind of what I was hoping for the entire time. Do I have high hopes that it'll happen? No. I think it's already been fucked. But... Uh, I shouldn't be swearing this early in the episode, but it's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. Did I not talk to you already? Greetings to uh, thee once again. Thou hast not yet left the forest then? Not quite, but I mean, I will be soon. Just not that soon. I've 
was just wondering why there was still a marker on you. Because that doesn't make sense. All right, where do I go? Where do I go? I, I, I've, I've lost myself again. I've completely lost myself again. It's not like it was hard, but <laughs> it's not easy either. Okay. I think this is the direction. And then we go from here that away. Through what used to be a windy... Yeah, there it is. It's covered in wind and shiza. That's how you stop from swearing in English. Swear in another language. That's how you do it. Oh yeah, the gravestone. Okay, well, we're gonna ignore that. We still didn't unlock that, because Liliana couldn't. That's right. I remember now. That was unfortunate. That she wasn't able to do it. But... Second go-around, maybe she will. Alright. Down we go. And I forget where we have already explored. Joy. It's like I'm running it blind, which I basically am times two. <laughs> hmm. Lair of the werewolves, you say? It seems like somewhere I don't need to be going yet. Primarily because I don't think I can. There was a big lock on the door, so... I'm assuming I won't be able to go that way. A secret door. And it wasn't... Oh. Dark spawn longbow. And a scout's bow. Huh. What a uh, combo of things to find. And this is a dead end. I'm pretty sure that's a dead end, but I'm going to go forward towards it anyway. Yeah, I was correct. Ah, eh, well. It was worth the shot. These spiders are dead. You're welcome. Ah, uh, what was that? I do appreciate the autosave. That makes me think I was correct in being nervous at that sound. And that sound. The nervousness is increasing. What are those noises about? Could we please right let... Drop oh. right ahead. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Now that is impressive. Well, I'm not going to be able to disarm it. No, okay, well. Time to uh, fight a dragon. Definitely what, not what I expected. Alright. Well, so far so good. Uh oh. Chael was taking quite a bit of damage. But we defeated a dragon. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna have Leliana try and disarm these traps. There we go. Nice. Good thing I had <laughs> disarmed these traps before we went into that fight, I guess. Eh, it's fine. Locked. Ah, shut up, Morgan. Big whiny baby. Fancy vase. It looks expensive. Well, <laughs> better be. I'm going to sell it. Longbow made of white wood, huh? 
and a leather helm cured. Kinda worthless. Huh. This architecture is old. Dragon horde. Oh my sweet. Merciful Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. Also that, but also wow. <laughs> Oh no, I couldn't take the helmet. Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll... Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Uh, let's replace. Oh no, you can't. Dragonthorn, what is up with. Oh, that requires a lot of dexterity. 34. For dexterity. Holy shit. But it's also additional damage and rapid aim. This bow is named after the Dalish god of the dead, Falandin. None can escape Falandin's reach when it is their time. Wow. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... I didn't mean to equip it. What I meant was I want to just drop that, but I guess I can't, so... This will go to junk. Okay, um... That wasn't what I meant either. Oopsie doopsie. Uh... Swap, get rid of that, and then we'll move that to junk, I guess. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. Um... Move that to junk for sure. Um, it's going to be hard to beat this helm of Han Leith for a good long time, honestly. Considering I'm getting plus three to armor and plus two to all attributes. It's going to be really hard to beat that for a good long time. Uh, grr. Um... Hmm. I do have three injury kits. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Gosh, oh, jeez. Jeez, oh, gosh. And I can't just pick like up that. Yep. Yeah. It was just like I wanted. Oh, you might as well do this one, too. Mm, no, I didn't think so. Ugh. Can't do that one. Okay. Well, that was something. We got <laughs> we got quite a lot of stuff, and now I can't hold any more stuff. Great, that goes down to a lower level. Wahoo! So, <laughs> even more stuff I'm going to be piling on to stuff I can no longer hold. Great. Um. Well then, uh, I guess we go back again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Um, I've already been in here, right? Yeah, I've been in here. I've looted all of this. All that's possible to loot here. Did I ever do that in here too? I tried and then I couldn't hold everything. That was what the problem was. Uh, what? 
And then this was splint mail gloves. Okay. So I guess I have to go back, sell off everything again. And then uh, do that all over again. All right. Well, that's annoying, but uh, I guess I can do it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to cut all of this problem out. I'll come back when we get back here. Okay. See y'all in a bit. Okay. I am back. I didn't quite end up selling as much as I had hoped, but... I am in a better position to hold more, and I have learned there are some things I should just be uh, using, honestly. Uh, especially in Liliana's uh, case, there are some poisons that we can make and that she can use, and I just haven't been doing it. Uh, there's also, I think, a little bit of poison that uh, maybe... Maybe Morgan can use. No, Morgan cannot use that uh, yet. Um, I might get Stray in, or rather Tomas, uh, into poison making so I can use some of those poisons and give me a little bit of an edge in combat. But for the time being, we cannot do that yet. So we're just going to use Liliana to use up all of that... Uh, that poison making skill and poison using because apparently only the people who know how to use them and how to make them are are one in the same and no one else can which kind of sucks it's annoying it is what it is anyway um nope. I could do that for you. well we already found out you couldn't so we're not going to try that uh you know what at a certain point i'm gonna have to start being a little more selective on which loot I pick up. And I guess I should start now. What? Frost rock, okay. Lifeless bastards. Oh joy. Some skeletons. Some skeletons. Joy. Alright. Okay. Well. We're gonna have to deal with skeletons now. Wahoo. That's not what I was hoping for. There we go. Okay. Fuck you. And you're gonna go down take out the archer, so this is less of a problem for the rest of them. Go. Down you go. Bye bye Nice. We did it. Pile of bones. Nope. Uh, what do we got here? Nice. Not even worth what I <laughs> did. Not even worth the switching. Okay, got a frost rock, okay. Frozen lightning. And some muns. Okay. And they dealt with the archer over here and Uh let me check that real quick. Mmm. That might be decent money. That might be. Weapons are usually decent money. I think I don't know off the top of my head. Oh boy. Um I don't know if it's actually good or not. I'll put it in junk. Just so it's out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> oh joy. Alright. Gonna be dealing with this. Sorry to all those who are afraid of spiders. This was not intentional. To be jumping into this. 
All right. There we go. Good. All taken care of now. But then that will keep happening. We run into those traps. But I think that's done. What is this ghost doing? Mummy? Mummy no matter, son. Huh. Calm down. Tell me who you are, child. Calm down. What are you seeing? Well. <clears throat> Got it. That is what happens there. Oh, boy. They're all coming on me. Oh, joy. Uh, <laughs> time to use that. Okay. Ow. Oof. Okay. <clears throat> My throat is starting to fail on me too. Just a combo of things that I absolutely want in my life. There we go. Down you go. Okay. And nice. Got to level up, and that's all completed. Nice. Whoops, that's not the button I meant. I meant that button. But ha-ha! We leveled up. Nice. Um, hmm. Give me a second to try and clear my throat. <clears throat> Alright, that should help a little bit. Um, hmm. Add a little more to strength, and just undo that. Add some to dexterity, and then uh... hmm, maybe some to cunning. Hmm. Hmm. That might be good to get into. Uh, let me look at this. Momentum. Character has to learn to carry one attack through to the next, increasing attack speed substantially. This consumes stamina quickly, however. Hmm. Makes sense. Okay. Um... That would be good. Um, be better than the uh, dual striking sustained. Because then it just makes it... Uh, makes it faster. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly. Honestly, I don't know if that would be good. Uh, and that's all that's left on that. And okay, um, hmm. Nah. Probably for the best. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Call that good. Lesser ice salve. Broken crate holding what? Warrior axe. Ash warrior axe. What? Once used by the ash warriors of Ferelden, this impressive axe has numerous notches down its half. No doubt records of the kills made by its former owner. Hmm. 
does extra to attack, which is nice. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. And money off of you. Okay. Uh, well, I'll throw that into junk. It's probably good. Um... So, poisons. You already used that up. Uh, what about acidic Hello. coating? Okay. Got that for a while. I guess. Sarcophagus. Hmm. Tablet. This earthen tablet is covered in pictographs. Okay. And a scroll of parchment decorated it with fancy gold handles. Okay. A carved elven tablet. The elven ritual. Oh, geez. Charred corpse. Well, yeah. this is a job for Liliana. What's next? Studded helmet. Not good enough to consider grabbing. What do we have here? Just a normal door. And an autosave. Okay. I don't know why. Going to be a problem, though. Almost guaranteed. this door to big tree root and then stairs downwards towards a fountain the water in the pool appears cool and clean it is refreshed from some internal source perhaps magically submerged in the water is what appears to be a small earthen jug Water appears normal, and dipping your hand into it, it is cool to the touch. It is definitely circulated by some unknown force. Maybe if I take the jug. You take the jug out of the pool. It is made of clay and appears to be none the worse for its long submersion. Fill the jug with water. You dip the jug into the water until it fills up completely. Uh, drink some of the water? Water surprisingly refreshing, but otherwise has no special effects. Okay. Dump the water in the jug back into the pool. Slowly, you spill the water out of the jug so it splashes back into the pool. Nothing happens. Put the earthen jug back into the pool. You carefully place the earthen jug back into the pool. Uh, maybe if I take the jug with me. And then fill it with water. And then leave the pool alone. I now have a jug. I assume somewhere. I have no idea where it will be. Um, got a fancy scroll, silver medallion. I have no idea where it would end up being at all. Uh, full earthen jug. This jar is almost overflowing. No idea what that would be for. None. I can't do that. Key required. Okay. Huh. Well, I have a jug full of water. And no idea what it's for. Lightless bastard. Well. I'll get on it. Someone's gonna fall on it. Yeah, another battle. The funk it. Well, there we go. 
Life stone. Oh, looks like we weren't done. Ow. We definitely weren't done. Jesus. Okay, I keep getting hit real bad. Knocked over. Ow. Okay. Someone should be healing someone. Miss Morrigan. Be healing. There you go. There we go. There we go. All better. And combat's done. Now I can loot all of the nothing. Broken crate and a phylactery. This elaborate artifact has a gem-like structure that contains what appears to be blood. Fresh and liquid even after all this time. The gem is vibrating slightly. I'm pretty sure this is a phylactery for a lich, which would explain why we're getting so many skeletons thrown in our direction. I'm assuming. I don't know. Uh, let's show it to the rest of them. We have little knowledge of the magic used by the elves of our Lathan's time. The Magisters of Tevinta were more interested in subjugating the elves than recording their history. Mm -hmm. As it is, I would hazard a guess that the object you're holding is a form of phylactery, meant to hold living essence, perhaps even a spirit of some kind. Mm -hmm. A device meant to hold a spirit, perhaps? Such would be my guess. Though, what might be left of any spirit within after such a long time trapped? It is warm. There is a soul within this stone. That much I can see. What would you like to do? Well, let's try to open it. There does not appear to be any way to open the gem. There is no crack along its length, no hinges or lock mechanism that you can see. The blood inside the gem moves slowly, as if viscous. How it was placed inside the gem, however, is impossible to tell. Uh, touch it. It's warm to the touch, and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images, and memories from a life not your own. The presence in the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear, and the images that rush to your mind are ones of imprisonment and loneliness. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. The presence calms and then is racked with indecision. Rather than have you leave, it begs you to stay. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the life gem. Time where the, time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittering silver armor. But this was long ago, remembered as if through a fog. How did you end up in this gem? You see images of a great battle, elves and humans both screaming and attempting to flee from some terrible presence. What that presence was is blurry and lost to time. The presence fled the destruction by, leave it, by using the life gem, escaping its body. It was sure that someone would come to rescue it, but no one did, not until now. Hmm. What is this place? What happened here? The images that come are slow, as the presence must think back to a time it barely recalls at all. You see a place of serenity, where the eldest come to slumber and are visited by those who offer tribute to the gods on their behalf. The presence's memories of what happened there are uncertain. There are flashes of violence, of war. But it is all too long gone. None of it is clear. Was this a war with the humans? The presence remembers the humans. This was a time even after the humans had come. 
It was they who had built this place long before. Perhaps the war was with other humans. Perhaps it was with something else. Something that killed both the humans and elves that were here. It is not clear. Is there anything I can... What, what can you offer me? Presence can remember little. You see images of an order and of elven mages who channel their spells into their strength, fighting as arcane warriors to defend their charges. The presence could give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage yourself, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer, the last of its memories. In return, the presence asks only one thing from you, oblivion. So, how would I give you the release you seek? The images that come are faint and uncertain. You see a stone altar and the life gem placed upon that altar. The life gem then vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. It just wants to die. That makes sense. Because I would assume being trapped in there would not be fun. <laughs> it's like actual prison. Just, you know, not fun. Because <laughs> it's all by yourself. Would, would prison really be fun ever? I mean, I mean, the U.S. prison system is not, not anything to go on because the rest of the civilized world is more civilized than that. But still, jeez. Uh, you could teach me to become one? The images that the presence sends are desperate. It will give you what memories it has. Whoever follows the arcane warrior's path will be the last of its order. I'll try to help. Sure. The images become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows the life gem must be placed on it. Okay, I'll push it to the altar. As the life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotion. Could its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you now. Yes, give me your memories. The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warriors once possessed. Now the presence asks that you keep your promise. Release it from its eternal prison. Whoa, that'd be fucked. Just toss it aside. Oh, man. Whew. My gods. Um, you might be useful later. No, that's extra screwed. Uh, place the artifact on the stone altar. The last images from the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. I bet. Specializa specialization unlocked. Arcane warrior. Okay, I can't learn it, but... Uh, I think, technically, Morrigan and all other mages can. Huh. Huh. I wonder, though. I wonder. That's not what I meant. Uh... Hmm. I don't know how I would do that. Check if that's something I can do. Don't know. But I guess I'll find out later. Arcane Warrior. That's something. I already went this way, didn't I? Yeah, I did go this way. So I have to go this way now. Boy, am I going to get lost in this place all the damn time. <laughs> okay.
Well. More skeletons down there. Time to fight. There we go. Okay, well. I'm getting some damage done. Girls are having fun up there. I really should be helping them, honestly. Oopsie! There she goes. Uh oh. I had a feeling. I had a feeling it'd be a problem. There we go. Welp. There's the combat done. Yep, she has one injury. Of course. Uh, of course. Um, I have no idea what some of that stuff is. Lesser spirit balm. Resistance to spirit damage. And then electricity damage. I might as well just sell some of this stuff because I'm not going to be using it for a good God's damn long time. Okay. Well, that's something I'll deal with later. Ooh. I finished. And it wasn't even worth. It wasn't even worth. Elford, that's worth. Okay, um, okay, get out of here, go through this big door, which triggers an autosave. Oh, that's the pressure plate. Gonna go around that. Oh boy, there's a whole bunch of archers in here. Wahoo! Okay. I might as well heal a little. I'll get on it. Got it. All right. There we go. Get a little bit of damage. There we go. Getting a lot of damage. Also getting a lot of damage on myself. Not good. And there we go. All right, that could have gone far worse. Adventurer's corpse and journal. There's particular mustiness that derives not from old paper, but from a decomposing corpse. Okay. Night Corpse, uh, nothing worthwhile. What nothing now? worthwhile. Money. Frost Rock. Actually, I think I that's ready. something Liliana would deal with. Yeah, there we go. I'll do it. Get some XP from disarming these traps. Mm -hmm. Now that combat is done and we can freely do that. Ooh, my stomach is acting up. I apologize. <laughs> well. Skeleton Archer at a life stone. Okay. Right, I don't see anything else that's specifically very worthwhile. So I guess we'll leave this room and explore more. Wow, this place is like a maze. Jesus. 
And let me guess. Okay, another autosave, which means it's a big bad place. Now, better than later. Okay, well. There we go. Come on, you little shit. Die for me. Thank you. Yep, that didn't work out the way I hoped. There we go. And bam. Ha ha. All good. Gotta love that. Receive money. And money. Yay. Lots of money. Always good to, to have. The fuck is this and the fuck is that? In that approximate order. Oh. All right, all right. Okay. Um. Oops. Okay. Could none of my people help me? Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for not helping me at all. Okay, wow. Okay, all right. Um, I have no idea how to do combat with her at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, well. Well, I mean, you didn't really do that. I did die, though. That was a thing. Arcane Horror. Had a big set of chainmail. Pile of rags. Ooh. Decent haul. Ashen gloves, metal kite shield, some stones, and money. Okay. Well, now, better than later. there's a skeleton. Of course, I'm not done yet. There we go. Okay, it's about time that I reset that. And then put that on again. And then we're good. And money. All the money. Okay. All right. Another sarcophagus with dagger. Another sarcophagus with... Elven armor and a legacy white shear. Peculiar and rare, a single run of this spirit took color and what has optimistically been called flavor from lyrium in the cask's bilge hoop. Uh, sipping whiskey if you value your innards. <laughs> okay. Oh, my inventory's full. No. Well, I figured that would happen. Um, Ashen Gloves. What is that about? Oh, that's restricted to mages. Okay. Fair enough. That would be more again then. As opposed to the Black Hand Gauntlets that... Hmm. The Ashen Gloves only do cold damage, as opposed to spirit damage. Hmm. Well, I'll throw that in junk. Um, heavy chain mail, as opposed to chain mail. Throw that in junk. Um, huh. I think I think I'm good. I think I'm good on that. And then I'll uh, nah. the 
weapons. This was... Hmm. Simple blade, but sharp enough for the job. Okay. Um, is it better than my current offhand? Whoops, that's what I meant. To do there. No, nah, not really. Not really at all. So, yeah. No, I'll, I'll just throw that in junk. Metal kite shield. That might actually be better than this. But it also requires a lot of strength. Yeesh. Boy, oh boy. Alright, um, we are definitely grabbing a lot of good stuff here. But at the same time, I don't think we're... Fine. ...moving enough stuff out of our inventory. That's not what I meant. I meant to do poisons. Come on. Concentrated death root extract? Yeah. Indeed. Might be good. Okay. Hello. Alright, and we'll open this chest to see Sorry. what's in it. Can't. Okay. Well, that answers that question. A whole lot of nothing. And then what's in here? Allow me. I could do that for you. Well, I mean Can't do that. <laughs> so much for that. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could take that armor now. Now that I've used some other things. Okay, well, uh, it is time to end the episode because it is way too long an episode right now. Also, uh, I have to figure out what the hell is this. So that'll be for next episode. But for now... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to explore while also dealing with a full inventory. Because, wow, I have so much crap. I'm going to have to sell a lot of it if I want to keep piling on more crap. Uh, that will be in the near future. Hopefully. Um... But for right now, we're going to deal with a very overstuffed backpack. Kind of how it goes when you're a hoarder when it comes to RPGs. So, uh, joy for you!